new keychain light in for testing today it's the astrolux k1 cri and this was sent in via banggood for a review now this looked quite interesting so i thought i'd give it a review and test this one has a couple of extra leds as well a red and a uv just some information on the front about the operation there's no user manual supplied with this just to look through the packaging and you see we have a Nietzsche 219C LED um, that has a high CRI value. Notice the run times and the output as well, which we'll get onto a little bit later on. Now, as I said, this is just a basic package. You just get the light in the plastic container here. No user manual provided. And the size of the keychain light is pretty much the same size as the Nightcore tip. I'm trying to get some tips in so I can do a shootout between all of these lights. Uh, that might be a week or two away. Micro USB port does have a cover, which is nice to see. And the finish on this, you get different colours available. It actually feels really good. I'm quite surprised because I wasn't expecting it to feel so dense and solid. You have a couple of uh, loops at the back here, metal. You can split them and put them together. Gives it a decent bit of um, grip when you put it onto the keychain. And this is a look at the LED or LEDs. Notice we have a smooth reflector and either side we have the red and UV. Now the uh, build overall, as I said, I'm actually quite impressed. There's decent density on the metal, uh, stainless steel. Not sure how the finish is going to hold up. These lights obviously going to get some use. But what I did like particularly to see was the cover for the micro USB port. Once you've put that in firmly and you have to just push it down a little bit, you'll find that it will stay in place quite nicely and it's not easy to uh, accidentally open it up. I'm just going to do a quick uh, visual comparison next to the Nightcore Tinny. Did a review on this recently, quite an in-depth one. Different type of uh, beam pattern off this. The Nightcore is using a sort of optical lens design on the front versus the smooth reflector on the Astrolux. But you can see it's quite a bit smaller. Obviously some disadvantages too. A slightly smaller battery as well. Well, about half the capacity of the Astrolux. Now the UI on this, bit odd in some ways because the main power button isn't for the main LEDs, it's the triangular one. So you can either double press to go to um, turn it on or you can long press to take you to the turbo and then it cycles through, down through the high to the low. So it goes backwards. That's okay, I don't have a problem with that. But um, I think it could be a bit better arranged. And the UI on the UV and red, just long press again on the top button which is the power button and then press again to cycle through them so I think really they should have reversed them um, because if you hand the light to someone they're going to press the power button for the main LED and where that's going to be controlling the red and the UV so slightly strange choice on that you do get used to it but uh, something which should be noted as far as the lockout function goes, it actually works pretty good. The lockout with this is by button pressure, so you, you really have to push hard on these. These aren't going to be activated easily or by accident, even though they stand proud. It requires quite a bit of pressure, so I've not had any issues at all with accidental activation on this. Because you have to either double press the uh, triangular button or long press it. So I think that's a reasonable way of working around things. Now as far as water resistance, didn't have any issues at all. This is rated to splash proof. It's also dust proof. And now we're going to be doing the charging test. You can also power this whilst you're charging if you have a power bank. And it came in pretty much bang on uh, 501 milliamp hour for the battery. You see it flash green there when it's finished charging. It takes just over an hour. Runtime test, so it goes for about just over 40 minutes and it's quite a big drop down. There is actually a slight drop down. It doesn't really show up on the camera after a few minutes. But I was able to get at least a usable light out of it for a couple of hours, even though it's quite a bit dimmer. Now onto the UV LED. You can see lighter uh, colors like white will reflect back, but you can also use it for things such as checking currency, fake currencies. You can see the, um, what I would call sort of scratch marks almost on the paper, but the, uh, looking at a Euro, five euro note now, you can see those marks again. But you also have that red line, which identifies it as a genuine, and you can't actually see that with a normal light as you can see there. So it could potentially be useful for that. Also, uh, debit and credit cards, you'll see the Visa logo here, and that also shows up on the signature strip. And things like dust and fluids will also show up. Not something I'd use much myself, but hey, it's nice to have it as a sort of extra bonus. The red LED is pretty bright. 
possibly a bit bright for up close work but you'll get a good sort of eight ten feet out of this you could use it for walking along and be able to see fine in the dark now we're on to the um k1 now the outside i would say the power output is a little bit less than the night core and it also a little bit more concentrated in the middle it's not a massive difference remember i'm looking at the sort of neutral white one versus the cooler night core so you usually get a brighter output off of the cooler light once i get the other key torches in i will have a look at those and compare them so what i'll do is run some beam shots now and i'll come back with a few thoughts at the end I've opened up the casing for you so you can have a look inside. Just wanted to cover some of the stronger and weaker points of this light. Now for me the main appeal is going to be the price. It's significantly cheaper than some of its rivals and it doesn't seem to be any obvious compromises in terms of the build quality or the materials used. But there are some weaker points to note. For example, the power spacing is a bit close. The height and turbo would have been the more even, would have been ideal for that. Also feel that there were a couple of other points, for example, the UI buttons could have been swapped around that didn't particularly make much sense but you do get used to it also the low output is 
much lower than is quoted but it's still not quite as low as I would like. So those are the niggles on the plus side. Build quality is excellent, uh, no problems with accidental activation. You've got the micro USB port cover, the Nietzsche LED gives a very nice color rendering it's also a bit easier on the eyes too thanks to the slightly warmer tint and the uh, uv and red leds they may be of use to you i wouldn't use them that much but to have them included is uh, something which might work for some people so let me know what you think on this thanks for watching the video and look out for that uh, keychain light special which i will be doing very shortly